good to be here. We might be drunk. It's summertime. The birds are chirping. The sun is shining. We're drinking. The birds are dying. Are they? It's fucking hot, dude. Bird flu. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's oh, that, too hot. Oh, the chickens got, uh, did you see that new one? No. Look it up. All the chickens, uh, the recall. Came home to roost. Yeah. What happened? Isn't there bird flu going on or something? I, I don't know. Monkey pox. Ah, it's all going downhill. <laughs> well, Biden's doing great. He's talking about yeah. Putin to uh, Zelensky. That was a, I don't find that to be an important distinction. No, same, no. same guy. Yeah, Russia and Ukraine very close. There's no friction at all. <laughs> Uh, 2,000 chickens, 2,000 pounds of frozen chicken yeah. recalled. Yeah. Woo, baby. A lot of chicken. Wow. Man. Well, remember that happened with Firestone tires? What remember happened? That, the big really? recall? Oh, yeah. That was in the 90s. What, 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 what's wrong with the tires? They, they were blowing up on the highway, and people oh, were dying, geez. like, left and right, so they had to pull the tires out. Oh. Remember the Tylenol recall? That was a big one. That was a big one. They had to go every shelf in America, pull all the Tylenol down. God, what is one Tylenol pill killed a kid? Whose mistake is that? Who's fault? Is it one guy or is it just like a factory? I think up? that was. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look up murder. Snopes. I think a guy was trying to kill somebody. Yes. and he put cyanide in his Tylenol. Yes, and then that's why we have wrap packages from this point on. By the way, that's the best Advil commercial ever. <laughs> Guess who didn't get poisoned <laughs> using our stuff? That's yeah. true. Hmm? That's true. Yeah, Tylenol. They put, but good on them for pulling them all. I mean, that, that's a a caring company. I'd well, be like, ah, it's one pill. No, it's not care. You have to pull them off. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's bad I, uh, PR. Someone just drops dead. That's true. The Tylenol guy. Well, people die driving every day. People die in a swimming pool. We're not pulling pools. Yeah. This is not a great headline. The Tylenol murders. The Chicago oh, Tylenol. Oh, boy. Uh, there were a series of poisoning deaths resulting from drug tampering in the Chicago metropolitan area in 1982. Here's the worst PR of all time. Uh, they laced the oh. capsules with potassium cyanide. There Seven you go. Seven people died. Seven? But they, right. they had the potassium. They didn't get any leg cramps. That's they died. true. <laughs> yeah. Eat a banana. Yeah. The biggest uh, PR fuck up of all time, he drank the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Remember that? Which it wasn't even Kool-Aid. It was Flavor-Aid. But Kool-Aid got fucked. That was Jonestown, right? That's right. The big cult. Yeah. They all did the suicide pact. That guy was fucking bonkers, Jim Jones. Yeah, oh yeah. He was like another childhood, uh, like like what? It started in California, right? Wasn't it? Yeah. And they moved to. No, he didn't start. He started in the Midwest, I think, and then he moved to California. Okay. And then he was like, "I found this place uh, outside the U.S. If you guys want to come, little yep. vacay." Yeah. Ghana, Ghana. Yeah, something Ghana? like that. Look at I, I, yeah. it. Yeah. It was uh, not gonna not gonna live anymore. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> But yeah, well, he was uh, he was like an OG. He was like a comic in the '80s where there was no Netflix. This guy, his cult was so big that it it blew up even without Netflix. And now, now and now he died. He's on Netflix. That's true. These guys, they always blow up after they die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Post posthumously. He was also fucking people in the. If you're gonna have a cult, you may as well fuck the members. I think you have. It's to. a waste. Yeah. yeah. What are you gonna there. be a noble cult leader? It's a uh, cult. Ah, <laughs> yeah. You're right. They worship you. You might as well yeah. get a beach. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, the weird compound. Here's how you do it. You pull one of them aside and you're like, you're not like the other cult members. Oh. I think you're special. <laughs> and they're like, me? He's like, I'm, and I'm the guy here. Yes. I started the cult. Exactly. If I'm saying you're special, there must be something to it. And they're like, wow. It shows how bad people need to be a part of something. Oh, yeah. That they're like, I'll join this guy out in the middle of nowhere with no money and, you know, no running water. Oh, God, remember, I mean, fraternities, like some of the frat stuff they would make you do. Oh. Fr- they'd be like, all right, so we're, uh, we're going to beat the shit out of you. Then we're going to dump boiling hot water on you. And then you're one of us. And you're like, can we do without the, all the, oh, the violence? The My fr- initiation was much oh. gayer. We had to eat the, uh, you ever heard <laughs> of the- Hey, there we go. Uh, I was just about to talk about eating jizz. If you don't have plans this weekend, you better check out Game Time. Game Time is the fastest and easiest way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, theater events near you. <laughs> Excuse me. They take all the hassle out of and Were you guess Donald work. Duck? What the hell was it? <laughs> they take all the hassle and guesswork out of buying tickets with awesome last-minute deals at all prices. Views from your seat. And their lowest price guarantee. I love Game Time. We go to Knicks games. We go to Rangers games. We go to concerts, you name it. 
Sorry, I'm allergic to a great deal. When you find the tickets of your dreams, you purchase this covered for the, with the most flexible customer service policy in ticket industry. You got to get on it. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code DRUNK for 20% off your first purchase. Uh. Again, create an account uh, and redeem code DRUNK for $20 off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. What happened to your, what happened to your eye, man? Yeah, so uh, fully out here for a photo shoot and, and to do your guys' podcast, of course. Yeah, and, I guess uh, you got hit by a migrant? No. All right. No, I didn't get hit. I didn't get stung by a bee. I didn't do anything courageous or crazy or scary. I went to a theme park in Los Angeles area and we went on this water ride and my daughter loved this water ride so much. On the last time I said, you get one more ride, we got to go. we have been here for seven hours. Mm. She goes, we're going to hit this thing four times in a row, dad. I want to do this thing four times in a row. And in, in on these, it's like a rapid tube thing. Everyone sits in the area and it, you randomly get soaked. I got soaked four out of the four times of doing it in the last time right before we went to 101 temperature walking back to the car. So I go to sleep and I was super like conscientious with Lily. I was like, all right, we have this dirty ass water on us. We need to go home and we need to shower immediately. Yes. Go home, we shower. It's all piss in there. I wake up next day and my eye looks like this. The what? Piss. Yeah. Well, first off, you're a great dad for not leaving her in the car. That's happening a lot in California. Uh, is it? Is it? <laughs> it's happening. Oh, yeah. I read these articles like a ton of time every day. Now, now, can we justify leaving in the car? Because I mean, I've gone to like you know when you're <laughs> you're at Shell gas station, you know, you're she's in the car. You're if it's like dog. if it's like a minute, I think you can do. Yeah. It. Otherwise, how old are we talking? What? How old are you? She's, she's not, seven. She's, she's seven. seven. Oh, all right. So she, she can she turn she the figure it out. I lock it. I lock it. Is that is that is that like faux pas now? Well, well, am I supposed to bring her with me to go pay for the gas in the gas station? It's also weird to bring a seven-year-old with you in the men's room. It's weird. Sure. Well, I, no I, good I, options. No. Tell, tell that to Kevin. You Space. don't bring her. <laughs> <laughs> there's one every episode. <laughs> Do, well, we've gone on a lot of road trips, yeah. and there's been those occasions where we go, and we have to go to some podunk crazy town off the 99 this, and there's like no one around, and there'd be some weird people in there, and like the it was before she could go by herself. And right. So, like, I'd have to go there, and I'd take her in the men's room, and, you know, sometimes they don't have those family bathrooms. It's pretty weird. But yeah. But you, you got to have your head on a swivel in there. Oh, yeah. You never know what you might, you know, see. Yeah. And you're in full dad mode, like, so. It's As, crazy. Especially at a gas station. Those are known homosexual hangouts. I thought that was road stops. Oh. Yeah, both. Hey, not when I was Remember? married. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the big joke in what was Something it? about Mary. Something, Something about Mary. Mary. Yeah. Something about Mary. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, the thing I love about Julian and Mark is like, we have all the same, because I used to do a podcast with Julian, yeah. those of you that don't know, Games With Names, still doing, it's great, it's a great pod, but all of our references were exactly the same. Yeah. Mm. Same age group. Same age. Age group, and we have, you know, I I mean, you're you're a little more knowledgeable in like the, the thespian world of like What's my world? comedy, yeah. yeah. So like, and you know, I, I you know always more about to, football than me. I would have to listen to like how you would talk about a movie, and I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm gonna go watch that movie. I don't say that I haven't seen the movie. I'll go watch it. <laughs> and so, and you know, he's lead me to some good movies. That what I lead you to? Do you remember? <laughs> what was it? it? Was a Scorsese one that I haven't seen that mm. you and a software arguing about? No, I love no, that one. I love that th one. He thinks that's the best. No, movie. what what was you? Which one did you say? Mean Street After Hours. Maybe it was after hours. I hadn't seen that. Yeah, that's a good oh, that's one. That's a classic. Yeah. That's one of his faves, too. Mm. So. I'm sorry I just got jumped on. I, I was explaining no, we wanted my, you to, my we BI. No, what do you do right. with the eye? You ice it, Benadryl? So, back? hit up my doc. He gave me this uh, antibi antibiotic ointment that I have to rub on every four hours. Clean. Just flew. Terrible idea. So bad for that Damn. recycled air. But, uh, and then I have I take like a, like a Benadryl like once every... Six hours. Hopefully, it goes down by tomorrow. What's, it, what's the shoot for? Oh man! I don't know. Can we say that? Yeah, yeah we can cut. Yeah, it. it's for grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, I feel like you're getting so much love right now because you crushed the roast. It, it right after the roast, it was cool. Great yeah. set. It was fun, and Crushed Sam it. was a huge part of that. I was always throwing him over like questions and stuff. I was like, "Hey, you what do you think it. about this?" Oh, you already had. It was like already great when you sent. No, nah, you gave us. I, you tweaked something. 
Yeah. Mm. I, we, what was to killing? the room? He was part of the room. How about the, the how about the, uh, the the Aaron Hernandez joke you had? That. About him, but now that guy was hung. I was like, he fucking nailed the delivery. <laughs> he nailed the joke. Damn, that was good. I think you you came with that. You you threw something about an Aaron Hernandez joke I don't in think there. That was me. Yeah, that was- no, but you had something in there, and that joke actually made me think. Like, well, is it on limits? Can right. we can we do that? Because you said something. You added something. Like I forgot which one it was. I'm I'm sorry. I, he got hit in the head. I told Jeff Ross to make the Robert Kraft <laughs> massage joke too. And I, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that was off limits. Fucking around. No, but uh, yeah, I mean, you, I, I knew you would be, you would crush because Julian is, has so much humility. It's like what made him a great football player is that he he just prepares, man. He just yeah. like I, we were talking. And I was like, you're doing it at the comedy store, right? You're like, I'm going up at the store. I'm oh, like, oh, he's good gonna for fucking, you. Yeah, he's gonna kill. You gotta prepare. It, I, that was like, oh, I was like shaking up there. This is the first time I ever done this. You couldn't tell, you know, no, at the comedy store. Mm. So I got that rep, which gave me confidence going into this thing. Yeah, and especially all I could see was people that I knew, really. So like, at the comedy store, you're in, in front of no one you ever met. Thank God there was like a ten section of frat dudes that were freshly out of college <laughs> or something that like love football. So like, right. I had a little, you know, because that that. That helps. That helps. Yeah, any kind of boost, any kind of support. Yeah, and so I, I went up there and did that, and I was like shaking the whole time. But it, it was cool to get that rep under because then you, you know, some of those jokes people laugh, and then you you don't know whether to go another joke right. or not. So you, it, it gives you delivery like pauses that you, you you recognize that you'll get that I didn't know. You guys may know that shit. Like, oh, this is gonna get a laugh, so you get right. like a four B. And then we go into our joke. Yeah, you know what I mean, so well, you're you're way better at comedy than we are at football. For sure. <laughs> yeah, there was yeah. that one water bottle you dropped a couple. Times. <laughs> <laughs> and then from there on out, I was just always throwing. Them he, over he threw the me. bathroom key to me once, and I dropped it, and and I, I never lived. Well, with you're that. a basketball guy. You be able to catch. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not. I, I'm trained with the bathroom key. It's a weird shape. By the way, rectangle. basketball, football. I'm surrounded by Jewish athletes. This is the first. <laughs> <laughs> I've ever had in my life. But but wow. two questions. When you were up there, did you did people do your like a bit that was similar to yours where you had to scratch yours? And how was Nikki Glazer in bed? <laughs> uh, no, they we, we we had a room. I'll, I'll answer the first question. Um, <laughs> Just joking. Yeah, it was a joke. Um, <laughs> uh, we we had like a room. And we would kind of go over our bit. They made me do my act. And then I, I went, I did like, oh. I did like five, I did like 10, 12 minutes at the store. I only had five at, at the, on the show. Oh, interesting. And so, you know, I ran through a bunch of my jokes. Like I was running through my boys and then I ran it through the, the room, like their direct or their production team and stuff. And so then they right the day before when they're going onto the prompter, they're like, all right. I'm like, no, you got to put this one on. And it was going all the way down to like the final bit. Right. So, and then Gronk went completely off script. Really? Full. Oh, man. Because I was sitting back there. I've never really seen this kind of stuff. So I'm sitting back there. I'm watching. Like, you, you're seeing who's on the prompter. Like, when I watched Kevin Harkin on that thing, he's such a professional. Like, I know. he would go on this thing. He wouldn't even say anything, but he would say something along those lines. And then, like, he, he just, you could see who's pro in there in their world yeah you know and then like gronk went on and it are all our kind of guys went on and you're just kind of seeing they're like are they going with the prompter uh, oh, <laughs> no he, he's going off what's he gonna do and gronk went fully off and just started he's like i had some jokes I, they didn't let me say so i wanted to say them. oh yeah it was crazy well. most watched thing on netflix ever by the way was netflix? it yeah 70 million views oh my Sheesh. god so yeah you're... i think it's a success yeah, I think so. It's like you and Cat Williams on Shay Shay. Those are like the two biggest things viewed this year. Man, wow. What about our society? <laughs> by, the, by the way, Cat, yeah, Cat's villain video is more of a roast than the fucking Tom Brady roast. Yeah, more that's strays. True. Yeah, he he had a lot of people on that thing. Yeah, who? Cat yeah. Williams? Did he oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I, I've seen clips. Yeah. Oh my. I God. mean, but everyone's talked about it. He was na- It was like the Black Epstein list. Yeah. Name and names. <laughs> we had a. I had a. We had a. A Shannon Sharp joke on there. Oh it? really? You know, it was about Kurt Reich. Oh yeah, his penis. Bert Kreischer's liver so black. Yeah, 
It even did like four hours on the Shannon uh, podcast. Yeah. I think that was the one I sent. Yeah, that was the one I that's sent. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's gr- that was yours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a great yeah. line. I think that was it. <laughs> <laughs> we had some softer stuff, and, then, and he goes straight like, you "No, you need go. black joke right now." Boom. Yeah. <laughs> well, you had a good black like. joke out of the gate with Kevin Hart. So I was like, "You need like one more." I know yeah. it's exactly how it went. And then once Nikki Glazer and Jeff Ross went up, you're like, "Oh, everybody's going hard." Well, I mean, right out the gate, Kevin Hart even said some stuff like, he, "In which that's like a cool team play because he knew we were all nervous." Right. Right. You know what I mean? So like, he went out there kind of like looked out for us like all right guys don't worry yeah because you know you're saying some stuff that like sure you know you probably that's comedy it's comedy he but... set the table and you you rock the star david which i thought was Hell cool yeah you got it appreciate yeah, I do, that bro because uh, <laughs> <laughs> i didn't like it <laughs> but that forum's an iron dome oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If if Julian were the only Jews that we had, Hitler wouldn't even. Oh, that's he would have been fine. That's true. He would have been like, look at them; they're so fucking strong. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to start war with these people. Yeah, and as a fellow five ten person, you're giving us hope. Yeah, you know, uh, what's it's for the shoot tomorrow? Are you shirtless? No, nah, but I think there will be some tank 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 stuff. Pull up the the body issue thing of oh, Julian. This is crazy. body issue. This is crazy. Oh, this is like ten years ago now. But you you still look pretty ripped, dude. I'm pretty deep. Yeah, the, the ankle. I mean the uh, the calf is killing it. Hitting those stairs. Oh, subway yeah. baby. Yeah. Are you, are you subway out? joke by the way. Did you ever you had something where you, you in your special recently on Amazon, <laughs> which is what uh, you changed. Yeah. Yeah. You had that subway joke. We were talking about. I was like, same had the subway joke because we took the subway here. Yeah. And you had the subway joke about never make eye contact with yeah. a it's homeless the, the person. Equivalent of the, oh, yeah. It's the if equivalent of making eye contact with a homeless person for a guy is like a woman making eye yeah. contact yes. with a Yeah, It's the same thing. We're Fully. Like, Fuck, he's walking toward me. Yeah. Am I not supposed yeah. to say that? Cause, uh, or well, am I supposed, not supposed to tell your your special? No. It's out. Did, it's I, out. Give, did I give Please, like a yeah. joke Look away? at him here. This Whoa, is crazy. Whoa, mama. <laughs> That's insane. Wow. How, like what, what's the prep for this? Like how much are you cutting out? carbs and stuff like that Jesus. um because we've hung you drink i mean you you yeah you're, you're, but you eat well this you is eat. when i was playing yeah okay. jesus so when i was playing like i like mean anything you put in your body was like diet like for like nutrition and stuff and woo! especially this time in my career like <laughs> this would it flip was, nick cannon <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it was uh you know in a lot of running i was running a lot so anytime yeah. you run, you sprint, you're always going to be a lot leaner. Sure. And so this is like when I was in like some of the best shape of my life. Have you heard that these? But for this specific shoot, I didn't eat carbs for like two weeks going. Wow. In Jesus. And not, you know what I mean? You cut after like I needed it for workout in the morning. But if you cut out after 12 o'clock, then you, you I don't know. That's I mean, right. the gays must it. love this too. This <laughs> so hot. Hey, I was on the cover of Spirit Magazine in 2015. Hey, there you go. Was, you, was your dick I'll in the lie. pouch here? Or is no, it so out? no, so you, dick is fully out. What? Fully out. How many and, people? And, in no, the listen, room? listen. This is so. <laughs> I was nervous about this thing. I'm like, wait, so this thing's like you're fully naked, right? And like they're like, yeah. And we're talking to like their production team. We're like, yeah, it's gonna be a very close set, close set. There's only some guy's gonna bring his kid. He's like, yeah, check this no. out. <laughs> we roll up. There's 45 people there. Oh you see those little hands right there? Those are all separate people that I'm jumping over with my my schlong hanging out. Those are all separate different Whoa. people holding that on like a and I'm doing like a jump on a on a mat above this city line. So it was kind of crazy. And so those are all different people. And you take the shot. And all of a sudden, you go look over with the photographer because you have to run over and you do it again. And it, like your dick would be hanging out on the Whoa. shot. And she's like, this is a great shot. And I'm like, but my, oh, we can cut that thing out. We're good. <laughs> this, is, this is what we're looking for. I'm like, oh, my God. Wow. You know, you, you opened up. You know, it was a cold set. It was a sure. very, very cold set. <laughs> they always do that. <sighs> and so, so, malls. But. Yeah, the uh, deflated balls, that's pretty good. <laughs> the one where your leg is out, my ball bag is so long, it would have hung over the thigh. Large scrotum, huh? Yeah, well, it's long. Long? Yeah. Greg Giroldo used to have that great bit about he could tell he's getting older the first time he sat in the toilet and the balls dipped. Oh, yeah. It's dip a dark it moment. Call it a yeah. Belgium dip? A Belgium dip. <laughs> Austin Powers, remember? What you... Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, is it... <laughs> or is that Mrs. Doubtfire? No, that was a... I think it was movie. when... 
was Belgium dip Mrs. Doubtfire when she put the cake face in her face? Yeah, that's right. And she goes, oh, this is Belgium dip. <laughs> and she drops it in the, the tea. It was a run by a fruit ticket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fully ball dick out. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Yeah, it was pretty, uh, whatever. <laughs> I could cover with a baseball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we, Mark and I wrote a movie and we're like, we, there's a scene where we're, we're ass naked and we're like, we got to get that. We got to get a hot room in there. Yes. We got to make sure it's not cold. Please, oh, for the love yeah. of God. Or I'll get a body body double. <laughs> we should get I roll in to be your body double. Yeah, please. <laughs> like, wow. You know, who, you know who I want my body double to be? Uh, I can't speak. Sorry. One of these. Uh, I want my body double to be that uh, that black guy with the giant dick. <laughs> just come, you know the guy I'm talking. We all it's yeah, crazy. We yeah. all know who I'm talking about. Where you? Oh, you, look at this new law that passed. Your boy sends it to you. <laughs> you sit down with the schlong. There be, he is. There he is. That would actually be a funny gag if we just we just <laughs> use doubles, but they were just black guys with huge dicks. That is a funny <laughs> gag. I feel like I get that meme at least three times a year. <laughs> Of my course. favorite one is like, dude, your favorite, like, it'll be like Dustin Hoffman died, and you're like, oh my God, and you click yeah. on the link, and it's just that. Dude. Yeah. yeah. You're like, Hoffman's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you, you can go everything on Google, huh? Mm-hmm. Barry Wood, huh? That was his name. That's fitting. Jeez. We were going to put him in our movie, but he died recently. Yeah. So that, Did he? Uh, yeah. Well, the dick, it takes a lot of blood. <laughs> yeah. That's what they always said, you know, on the street, like, oh, and you're on the, like, at recess with your friends, like, yeah, dude, I heard this guy dick was so big that like he died because he had lack of blood flow to his head like i remember yeah. talking about it so this really happened. i remember that oh yeah i don't know i'm, I'm joking but i'm sure it didn't help <laughs> yeah i <it> couldn't <laughs> to get a boner for that guy that's a what, lot what of mixed fun. news from a doctor they're like your dick is so big you're gonna die yeah and you're like well thank you do you guys remember that kid who was born with a football shaped dick and they hey arnold they're... <laughs> Nickelodeon. I used to love that. Show. I, yeah, that oh good. yeah, that was a classic. That that was my that was my thought process of what New York was ah. as a West Coast kid. Like, oh my God, you can play baseball between buildings. You're such a you're such a Bay Area guy. It's so funny that you're this Boston legend because you're so. I mean, do you know he? You know who he took to the prom? Oh, you got to tell this. You you can sell it. Jerry Rice's daughter. Yeah. Whoa. And he answered the door fucking with you, right? Nah, that was one time he did. Yeah. Whoa. One time he, like the first time, he, he he didn't not he didn't really mess with me. He just was like jacked in like a white beater with like a cool chain, like and I saw his muscles and stuff. It's Jerry Rice. You're like, and he's one of your faves, and he's one of everyone's faves. Yeah. Wow. You know, I, was in the, I lived. I grew up in the Bay Area. I went to a prom with Ray Rice's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that elevator was yeah. bad, but uh, oh all right, <laughs> Brown Rice is her name. <laughs> okay, we're having fun. We are having fun. <laughs> dick Buckus, there Look at he that is. guy. I yeah. typed in football shaped dick, and this came up. No, it was a baby, <laughs> and then they did surgery on it because it was obviously gonna fuck the kid up. And they made it, they gave it eight inches. The Predators always have an egg-shaped dick, they said. That's right. Epstein, Harvey. the East Area Rapist, always an egg da- egg-shaped dick. Really? Yeah. Scrambled. <laughs> <laughs> no, they always they always say that, though. Uh, Epstein had an egg-shaped dick. I heard the same, and Harvey had a weird dick, and Hitler had one ball. One <laughs> ball. And a micro-penis, they say. Oh, really? That's what, that's what I tell myself. <laughs> <laughs> He's well, a bad guy. Tiny what, what if he had a huge dong? I don't think he did. You look it up. I think he had a small dick. I it's think not so big too. dick energy. Yeah. No, yeah, it's not. But what if it was <laughs> Fiddler with big dick energy? He'd be like, "We should kill the Jews, right?" Yeah, <laughs> he would be yelling it. <laughs> say it like chill, and he wouldn't have to go full high. He'd be like, "Ah, eh, I'm good." Uh, I, I think he, I don't think he would do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he would do it if he had big dick energy. Probably I don't think not. so either. Yeah, if your dreams come true, you don't really turn to genocide. Yes, yeah. he wanted to be an, an artist. He'd be running different trains. Oh. <laughs> He's from the Washington Post. Well, back to Dick Buckus. <laughs> <laughs> Football-shaped dick. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Hitler penis. Yeah, how, how's he looking? It says, all right, let's talk about Hitler's penis. This is from the Washington Post. Nice. <laughs> this, this is our news, baby. I got a new Hitler joke that's hitting. I say uh, I was watching the Hitler doc with, uh, with my Which friend. Which one? The one on Netflix. <laughs> there's, yeah, a new yeah. one. there's so many. There, there's millions, there's but so there's many. like a newer one on Netflix. Yeah. Right? It's, it's pretty, it's weird to say it's good. It's well done. But... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> really good. A great message. <laughs> but no, my friend was like, you know who'd be a good Hitler is Kevin Spacey. And, and I was like, yeah, yeah. And he goes, but he's canceled. And I was like, he can't play Hitler? <laughs> I think that'd be the perfect role then. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we get him back. That's a good point. They should make canceled guys play fucked up characters yeah. that we already hate. Yeah. Work your way back. Is yeah. That... So it does say he's a heel. They're heels now. Yeah, yeah, they're heels. You gotta like go to wrestling. the heel side. Exactly. Hey, we gotta we gotta earn you back. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on the case. Right. What, what do we have on his? What, right. Any uh, developments on Hitler's penis? Big, big development. Breaking news. Hitler. Hopefully not too big. Is believed <laughs> to have had two forms of genital abnormality. There it yes. is. An undescended testicle. That's boom. One. And a rare condition called penile hypsodesia, which is the urethra opens up under the skin of the penis. And I pulled up a picture. It's basically a micro penis. Okay. Oh, yeah. Micro peen hit. Yeah. There it is. That's why Hitler hated you, dude. He <laughs> never he never would have been on the body issue. That <laughs> yeah, weird ass fucking true. wiener. Not, he wasn't circumcised. Him. Wow. There you go, folks. Are you glad you don't have to? I mean, because you're still ripped. I remember when we would change shirts together on the show, and I'd be like, fuck. He's, you'd be like, oh, I'm not in good shape. And I'd be like, well, then what the fuck am I? <laughs> you know? Because he's like still f very fit. Yeah. Well, how much? How often do you work out? Um, I, it, you know, it, I've been boxing a lot. Mm, I go to this good. boxing gym, Churchill over in Santa Monica with, uh, my boy, Chris and, and Pedro, like three, I'll try to get three days a weekend. Damn. And then I've been going to Santa Monica junior college or community college, Santa Monica college. And I've been putting the cleats on to see if I can run, you know, and, and like, it reminds me that I shouldn't be, you know, <laughs> you shouldn't be running. You're, yeah, your body but it feels up. good, but it feels good. Yeah. But I've been, I've been running. You know, uh, and then I'll get I'll get like two, three lifts in a week. So, oh, that's a lot. So that's like six workouts, right? Yeah, but sometimes they're like I'll I'll run and then I'll go lift like a quick lift just to get a pump or something. Nice. Yeah, you know I'll go crazy if I don't. That's yeah. good. That's healthy. It's good you for the brain. I mean? like good for the stress. If I I'm doing something, I've been biking a bunch too. Like I take my bike from where I live and I'll go all the way down to like Marina del Rey or Playa del Rey, which is like. It's like a 30 mile bike ride. Jeez. But you're like all along the beach and stuff. So it's kind of, ch it's chill. Yeah. So I, I do that. I'll go grab a smoothie, you know, and, and then, you know, everything's kind of tailored around kids schedule. Right. And I mean, right now it's, she's not in school, but yeah, I gotta, I drop her out of school, you go to gym, then I go handle work calls, then I pick her up and then, you know, we got soccer and tutor. I mean, it's wow. Like, and you keep it. Can I ask on those 30 mile rides, are you listening to music or listening to a podcast or just zenning? I change it up. Like sometimes if I have, like I have to digest content for me to stay in my work field, like for football, like mm. I'll listen to certain podcasts and I'll listen to certain, you know, certain shows just to kind of hear what the headlines, what people are talking about. Yeah. What are your regulars? Which ones do you like? I love, Colin, I like the Colin Coward show. I like uh, McAfee show. I'll listen to part of my take. I'll yeah. listen to those guys. I was just talking about those guys. They're yeah. fucking awesome. You know, and you know, I've seen them out the, from the very beginning, you know, watching them, and it's been cool. So I've always kind of listened to them. And a lot of their humor with sport is similar to my humor. I think McAfee does a great job of bringing in, like, yeah. the locker room vibe of how yeah. we joan with each other on his show or, you know, like, that whole – that's how the locker room is. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And so I like watching that, but they also deliver, they kind of give you, they give you a good perspective on how, you know, it's just not like so TV anchory, you know? Sure. I mean? Yeah. He's got a tank. It's up different. On. And those guys have been in the locker room. So, right. You know, they got good perspective. Uh, so I like listening to those shows. I like, I like the comedic relief from like the PMT and those guys. I yep. think they're funny as hell. And they also deliver the news and, and, and what's going on in sports in a very unique way. So I like listening to how they talk and, and what they do and you know you're also i like listening to podcasts because i have a podcast you know we still do games and names and yeah you know you're constantly trying to get better and and like just interview style and all that sh shit yeah yeah so it's so new where you at on Stephen a <laughs> i actually i like Stephen a i don't you mind know, him as much as this guy uh, I, I mean i think his if you listen to him like he 
because I'm in that world where you have like a time limit to talk and what you have to get yes. your thought process around and your 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 prove it points and stuff. He's like a polished motherfucker when he talks on. Yeah, on literally, TV. his face yeah. is polished. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, he's he's like a he's a very smart dude. Now I don't always agree with a lot of his takes. Yeah, yeah. But I think no, he's I'm like, fucking around. He's obviously yeah. a pro. Yeah, he. I, you I know, there's a reason why there's like only two people at ESPN now. No, I know. You know right? It is pretty weird, though, isn't it? It's like, man, they fired so many good people over there. Times are changing. I don't know, yeah. man. It's you know they're trying to bring in that world of like how us younger people digest content. Right. That's through what we're doing right well, now. Podcasts, like totally the Pat McAfee show. That that's like, essentially they're trying to capture podcast yes. on TV for people that for haven't sure. really gone over to that market. And that's why it's a hit. You're that's crushing on TV right now. The the sports show yeah. every uh, every Sunday morning. Yeah, Fox kickoff. Schrager and everyone. Yeah, here. Schrager's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris Thompson, Charles Woodson. Yes, it's and a good Mike show. Vick. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's been a really great environment. And you know, I've been in that world now, going on. This is will be my fourth year. Crazy, crazy. You know, wow. you remember I was when we were coming out here doing Inside the NFL. I think you, I was a little stressed about that at first when I had to do that. You know, it's it's different. And anytime you haven't done something, it's like oh, yeah. terrifying. Sure. I don't know, at least for me. And so, you know, I've gotten some ropes under, and then I went to Fox, and Fox is live TV. Oh, yeah. So it's it's different from live to tape where you could mess up a As little comedians, bit. our our dick gets hard when we hear live TV because, like, we can ruin a show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we get so excited. Like, I, I, I did a show recently on ABC, and it was – it was not live, but I was like, I'll just fuck it up so much they can't edit it without my jokes. And I walked out and they were like, what the fuck did he just do? <laughs> who books these for you? My publicist who gets really angry every time. She's like, I just got yelled at again. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I can't believe they keep allowing me in here. Like, this I, is that's insane. What, yeah. I mean, you've done it on a lot. I go on a wormhole of those things all the time. <laughs> but I don't, I, but as, well, as comics, Mark and I, like we do those and we're like, oh, we can do anything and it's like so tempting to do something horrible, but like, I guess for you guys, you're more like, oh no, we just have to not fuck up a word or, or a take or something. Yeah. yeah, and you know, we're like, we've been away from like the English world for 15 years. You know, when you're football, you're not like practicing. You guys are talking and you guys are <laughs> like writing shit and like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So you, you, you can fuck, you, talking in a locker room and talking to like, a broadcast of people is different. Is different, right? You know, there's like certain. So it, there's a there's a a training mechanism to kind of try to bring that locker room talk in, and also be able to portray to people how it's a good point. How we all talk, yeah. and you know, there's it's execution of being able to get like your point across, give a couple nuggets about that point, wrap it up, and get it all in 35 to 45 seconds, and then try to give a layup to your partner who's sitting next to you. You know, yeah. so you know, that's like. It's like a, you're trying to have a good show every time. Well, that's why Charles Barkley's great because he's he's great at broadcasting, but he's also half in a locker room where he's like, ah, oh, San Antonio women are fat as hell, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was an amazing soundbite. Oh those, yeah, those guys are the I I love watching them. I, I love Barkley. I don't even watch basketball. I'll watch just the halftime show a lot of times. <laughs> I got well, you. I got you more in the. I, yes. I got you more in the basketball. You got me into Bronson. But you got me into more in, in the Bronson. Oh, yeah. Bronson. The yeah, he was talking. You were talking about him years ago. You're like, I like this guy when I they first him. got him yeah he's a man and he's turned into a you know you're fucking be... celtics we would talk shit to each other all the time yeah. <laughs> of course julian's fucking every day cheering on the celtics it happened hey, yeah, yeah, they won it. it's crazy 18? how many you have to understand how spoiled boston sports 18? fans are because of how many championships you know it like they've grown up with every one of the major teams winning and you guys won fucking six in the last 25 years yeah it, and you were part of three of them. Yeah, you know it, it's 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 crazy because I grew up a Bay Area fan, but like when you go to Boston and like you rub elbows with the other guys and you, you meet a g couple Celtics, you you do a charity event with some Bruins, you, you you see a couple Red Sox at another charity event, like you guys all kind of like root for each other, and, and and you feel that vibe from the whole city. It's like a it's like a real true pro sport town oh yeah it's a town like you know what i mean this is a big ass city like you guys are competing with like fashion and this and that out there it's like education and pro sport that's true you know what i mean that's what boston is and like some good ass like clam chowder and stuff so yeah yeah and great, cool great, people but great like food. i love i might take my special in boston. yeah i love boston, it was there you know? so like 
And you did the you just did the Wilbur. What? No, I'm doing the Wilbur. You're doing what are you going to do? Doing, I'm doing a live show of the podcast, Games with Names. Who, who Do you know who the guests are yet? We got a couple. I don't know if we're allowed to say Are we saying? Okay. No, but, but, but not yet. But you know it's you know it's going to be good. It's yeah. going to be pretty good. We That's, got some good folks coming. We got yeah. we got a couple, you know, a couple past legends, a couple maybe current peeps. Ooh, baby. You know, we'll see. Who's like a dream guest for you to interview? <laughs> <laughs> right. right. I've been who's holding a, that. Who's a dream guest for you to interview? I would love to get like... I would love to get like Michael Jordan oh, or baby. like Tiger Woods. Ooh, yeah. Someone not in our sport. I, you know, I love our sport, but like I'm still, I'm, I'm interested in. Yeah. I've heard the stories of a lot of, you know, I don't know them all, but you, you know, you hear the story of the story of the story from, sure. you know, coach this that. I want to learn about these other sports and how these other guys are yeah. a lot more. You know, like when we have, I think we're gonna have Paul Pierce on again and like there to pick go. his brain. He's like, great. You know, it'll it, it'll be. Fun. I mean, I hated his fucking guts as a I player, mean, he, but he's great. <laughs> he was a hateable guy because yeah. he was just always nasty. He yeah. was if he, he I talked just, shit, and oh, he, and he won't give Brunson shit. any fucking love. And then he he fucking burned the Brunson jersey. Did he? Or he burned stomped it. it? He stomped it. Stomped he, it. He lost a bet with Garnett because Garnett gives a lot of love to Brunson. Yeah, Garnett's cool. I like Garnett a lot. The way he talks about the game, but. He, he lost a bet. He had to wear a Brunson jersey, and he honored it. But then yeah. after he took it off, he, he took a video of him stomping. Oh, I'm like, dude, you're in your 40s. What that's are you doing? Aggressive. yeah. It's insane. You, you know who Car Garnett reminds me of on T? Like, he's basketball version of our, like, Ray Lewis. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know I mean? Without the murder. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, <laughs> anytime I hear – I used to work with Ray Lewis. And really? This, yeah, on Inside the NFL uh, in Holy New York. Holy moly. And so anytime this guy would talk, it would be like – you wanted to run through a brick wall afterwards. Like we're in a production meeting. He's like, yeah, all right, man. now we have to do this. You are going to have to be like, and like how he talks is crazy. Yeah. Well, I just want to run through a brick wall. And like, anytime you listen to KG, he's just talking about like intensity. Like that's the kind of dude, he is a dog. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. Same kind of shit. I love him. But I did call out Ray that I, I think a lot of his, a lot of his posts, his speeches come from the Gladiator movie. Uh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this dude loves the Gladiator. I, we went to Rome together. That's why I know he. Wow! Loves. Really? We did a we did a convention in Croatia, a sports convention together, and then we're like, I was like, "Yo, I'm going to Rome. Come with me." And, and Ray came, and he we went to did some uh, content at the Coliseum. What? And watching Ray Lewis going to the Coliseum, where like the original Gladiators fought and all that stuff like just the aura you feel of it that word aura everyone's talking about <laughs> uh you know to see him it was like watching a kid go into a candy shop this guy was like so juiced up just from seeing like the prehistoric yeah. gladiators were it that. is kind of badass it oh, is of course gnarly yeah that movie gets me kind of jazzed there's a number two coming out i saw that, that trailer it's, i didn't see it. i haven't heard, seen the trailer heard about it denzel denzel what denzel is fucking he's a little great. old for that is he not well, I, he's not the gladiator. No, oh, okay. no, no, okay. no, no. Who's the, Who, glad? who's the gladiator? I don't know. I'll look it up. Look at Ray Lewis. Well, let's see a little Ray Lewis. Oh, this is it. We call for a ring, man. Nothing else don't matter, man. But he's done his thing. That's what loyalty is. Loyalty is going to your heart and find out who you really are. Make sure you look at your teammate today and you come out and you get pure hair on the thing. This team ain't ready for us. Let's prove the thing ready for us. No Woo. one, no one does that. No one does that for us in comedy. That's why we're all lazy and hungover. We need someone to fucking do that to us. Yeah. Oh my god, it's pretty chilly. Oh, I got chill. He's that a badass. Heavy. I do. Holy I remember when he shit. beat the Giants in two thousand one. That one, fucking yeah. sucked. We had one man. Touchdown. It was a run back. Run. Two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah. It was a two thousand one January. Woo. Yeah. Who was, was this guy? I hurting. hate that. I hate that. The I get so mixed up with sport year and Super Bowl date. Right. Because mm. it's usually the next year. Right, right, right. Right. It, it's yeah. like. No, I fucked up. You're covering for me. I was. <laughs> I got it wrong. But. Uh, no, really. I, I, I swear to God. I, I We argue about this shit all the time. You know, our producer's so upset he's not here because he's he's a huge Bills fan, but he wanted to meet you still. Yeah. And he, he rolls here every week in his fucking Josh Allen jersey. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, of course. He goes, what a patriot move to not show up, to show up the one week I'm not here. And I was like, you got to, you got to tell two stories for him one is you got a dildo thrown at you right and what? it wasn't at me it yeah. was on the field after oh wow in Third buffalo down. in was, buffalo was buffalo you guys always cooked buffalo. old orchard yeah we used to go up there and you know we you took we put a stomping on him a lot but was that where you guys got stuck as a team and that was like the first time you bonded with tom 
old uh yeah we we it was like <laughs> decent sized hog <laughs> yes there's the dildo dong it wasn't cold in that room that wasn't a hit dude dick. <laughs> we're in the red area and i'm pissed I, I think i was pissed after this play or something i remember all of a sudden i'm like i don't know if they have the play where was i or i'm i was walking back and i saw it but i saw it and i just see a dick get thrown or a, a dildo on there and i look over there and like it says Brady's dildo or Brady's uh, dick or something. <laughs> Is this it? No, that's not it. Oh, sure? That's a new one. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's oh, thing now. That's their thing. Oh, no. Whoa. That's, that's, a, that's a modern day. That's a, look, I'm telling you, old Orchard gets crazy. These fucking TikTok well, never, guys have to ruin it with that song, though. Have, yeah. There's some fat housewife going, I'm going to jerk off Elise at the foot. Where the hell is that? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, it's on the field again. Yeah, right. They had those things that, like, what are those, like, uh, you know they have like those party stores, yeah, it's yeah. like Party USA store in like a strip mall. Yeah, you know in Buffalo they sell dildos for that. <laughs> like oh, they always yeah. have like decorative stuff for like the local team. Sure, dude. Uh, that was where you guys got stuck. Over yeah, we got we got stuck in Rochester, New York, and that's where he's, he's from. Rochester. Who he's from Rochester? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got we so we got snowed in. It was I think it was my rookie year. It, it was either my rookie or my second year. My second year. It was my second year in the league. And we just clinched the division in Buffalo, and we got snowed in. But there was an international hockey talk like uh, tournament, so there was no hotels for us. But we could not fly. Ah. Uh. So we took a bus in this snowstorm to Rochester, New York. And we stayed in Rochester. And we went to this dinosaur barbecue. Place. Oh, I know it. Yeah, that's their only thing there. It was it was delicious. It's delicious great. Delicious barbecue, yeah. spectacular. And like a lot of the team was there, and we were all. It was kind of like a celebratory kind of thing. And we don't really do that. The Patriots, like we don't like. Really? Yeah, like not with coaches. Like there was some, you know, like it was. We just clinched. We all snowed in. They couldn't do any of their work. We couldn't do any of our work. And so like we all ventured over to this place and. That's when, you know, we had a beer chugging contest. And yeah. Brady's freaking good. He, really? But you you kind of beat him. Though. I kind of beat him, but he said I dropped a little on my on my uh, my shirt even though. That's bullshit. Come on, he's obsessed with it. He's drugs. pretty good though. <laughs> really? He's pretty fucking good. Wow, really? I'm shocked. The guy can chug a beer. Good you can him. chug a beer though. I can chug a beer too. I, yeah. It's a jaw technique thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I it, it, I can it's kind of like have you seen the movie Phenomenon? With my John Travolta? Yeah, where he gets shot by lightning. Well, I awful, broke my awful. I can't believe you saw that. I saw it, too. It's I love that movie. Really? I loved it. I was like 10 years old. Oh, wait. Yeah. You know what? I'm thinking of Michael. Michael, yes. Michael that's was, a fucking That's a bad movie. Okay. Phenomenon was great. Phenomenon. He could like speak Portuguese. Like in, He was reading yes. books, remember? Yes, exactly. I love that. But like it was like I broke my jaw, and ever since then I could fucking chug beers. Someone, someone bring me a, a water. Can we get two water bottles in here? I want to see how fast he, he chugs. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, think I can chug. <laughs> My wife water bottles draw difficult. You got, it's like the boot in beer fest. You got to spin it. I love that you've seen every fuck. You, that's a funny movie. I I have a lot of friends. I I don't know that movie that crazy well. Yeah, but I have a group of it's friends that reference it all the time. So like I feel like I know the movie. Okay. Yeah. What's like your go-to comedy when you're like I need to just like this is like my comfort watch. I love Dumb and Dumber. I, Classic. So fun. I, yeah, we talk about it all the time. Yeah, we have like a whole language on that. Like that's where like this whole bur like me loving burgers and burger time. How's your burger? Like that's how we used to talk. Oh, yeah. to each other. <laughs> it was stupid. Um, Even the soundtrack to that movie, I just like hear a random song. Like it's on like my pre-show playlist because like three of them because yeah. put me in a good mood. Mary, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, she's a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> I also one of my real go-to's. I love super bad. Oh, yeah. classic. Because I remember seeing that in the theater right when I was, I was like a freshman in college or maybe my second year in college, but I was just moved to Ohio and I was on a date with the girl. We went to matinee, $5 movie, and we were sitting there the first slide. He's talking about hiding his porn name to his mom. Yeah. The credit card bill. I'm sitting here dying. It was like the funny, because I remember doing those things, you know, sure. like, oh, shit, I used my mom's credit card. What's she going to find out about, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, the, it was just such a funny movie. I was crying. The, I remember just being hysterical the whole movie because it was so familiar to, yes. you know, my age. Yeah, McLovin. Where I was. Oh, yes. yeah, they had a great line in that. He goes, I saw her tits. It was like the first time I heard the Beatles. Yeah. <laughs> you said Super Troopers or Super Bad? You no, he, he stared at his eye. No, he that stared was at his eye. No, Sugar Tits this was is something different. else. Let's see. I want to see how fast. I'm, I'll chug. 
All right, Man, you I broke your jaw. Good. Am I putting you on the on the spot too much? This is water. All right, ready, ready, set. All right, chew off. Whoa, you spilled a little, Tom Brady. Called you. Too. All <laughs> right, me. all right. It's been a while. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Okay, I was boy. Chugging, I was chugging beers. That was like my party <laughs> trick back in the day. I someone hand me a beer. Didn't we do it a couple times? We did it. Yeah, yeah. It feels you like I'm at your bar mitzvah. Where? <laughs> <laughs> no, Julian has definitely showed up to the cellar with me. We were, we were both legless for yeah. sure. We're Liz at the cellar. Dude. You fucking assholes. Those dude, we met Shane. Gil you brought Shane Gillis. He was yeah. there one time. Yeah. Who else? We met. I met some really cool dudes, and it's been really cool to see you guys. That was like three years ago. And yeah. Then, like. There's been special, like, you see it now more. Like, I wasn't like Shane that. loves football. He was pumped to meet you. Yeah. And uh, and I one, my, Super one of my Boy, favorites was I brought Julian to the cellar, and one of the bouncers there goes, oh, man, can I get a picture with you? And they take a picture, and the second he takes the picture, he goes, go Giants. Ooh. <laughs> Immediately, like, he just wanted that moment, but he was like, I was like, and Julian was cool about it. I was like, all right. That's a yeah, I mean, who cares? I, I mean, I was like, yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah. Well, you, I used to love the Niners and stuff. I was like that way too. But you get a lot of hate on the street, though, like from Jets fans. Oh, yeah. You get a lot of love, but you also get the like that obligatory yeah. like, New York, like, fuck you, dude. You did this to the Jets. Yeah, it's usually construction workers, cops, or, <laughs> you know, I, it's been, I've been, it's, it's, it's like a fun banter yeah because it's not with the new yorkers no because they, they respect the fuck out of you but like they'll give you like oh man i was such a big fan and take a picture and all of a sudden uh, uh, while they leave go giants you know like yeah. so, you know well, you were almost a giant which is so yeah. up to me because like that's my team and it's great if you left for the giants that would have been fucking insane it would have been i mean it would have been cool that's one of their pitches to me i remember being on that trip I think it was um, Coach Izzo, their special teams co <laughs> coordinator, and they, they brought me around, and they were like, could you imagine being in New York City running a punt back in front of the – By the way, the stadium's in New Jersey. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Can you it, imagine being in New York? Like, wait, are we I, in I New think, York? <laughs> I think I said that to Larry, and I was like, we're in New Jersey. The offices are in Jersey. <laughs> but, it, that was, but I did think about that, and Coughlin was – Literally, a, if Boston was like, like, can you imagine being in Boston? They're like, we're in Vermont right now. <laughs> <laughs> It, New Hampshire. Yeah, New Hampshire. You must get a ton, because we get shit just as comics where, like, I'll get these kind of half insult compliments where they're like, hey, great show. My wife hates you. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. But do you get stuff like that where it's like this backhanded, ah, oh, you missed that pass there, dickless? Nah, you get a lot of dick riding on Brady. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right. Riding his dick. I mean, yeah. fuck. That's tough. Someone it had to makes... catch the ball, dude. Every every yeah. great quarterback has great receivers. It's a hey. teammate. Brent would be also, the guy. Also, Brady. <laughs> I hate when people say Brady had no receivers. He had you. He had fucking Welker. He had Gronk. He had Randy Moss. He had so many fucking great receivers. He would be. He wouldn't. He's never said that. He's never said that. Yeah. People in Boston would complain sometimes about that shit. Yeah, but that's just that's just fandom and everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, everyone's just trying to hate on Boston anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they they love. I mean, they always took us in pretty well. For know? sure. No, I, I and I fucking that's the thing is like as a comedy city, Boston is like. It is top. Oh, it's top like top five, five for me. Easy. It's it. got to be. You it's don't just tape a, a fun town, and every, and you know you can say you could probably get away with a lot in Boston. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I said yeah. horrible, thing. including a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> Karen Reed. <laughs> yeah, my opening in Boston. I did the Schubert. I don't know two weeks ago, and I was like, I hope it don't bomb, or as you call it, a marathon. And like, yeah, <laughs> eat that shit up. That's crazy. Boston's great. I was there for that almost, man. Really? really? Yeah, it was crazy. We were. Um, it was off season training. And that's like a big weekend in Boston when you go to the marathon, pa St. Patty's Day and opening day. Those are like the three big like send offs before like summer. And we, were, we just finished our uh, like our run or something. We had to run in the morning and then you know, you're you, you free to go. And a lot of guys were already on their way there. And we were going to get we were in like in a car to go to the, the, the marathon because it's like a fun time. Sure. It's, you know, and. All of a sudden, you know, everything's, you know, everyone's like, nah, we can't go. We can't go. Like my buddies got like turned away from like the commuter, commuter rail and stuff. Oh, it was, boy. It was gnarly. Damn. Damn. It was sad. Yeah. They got the guy. We went and met with the. Um, Both of them. We met with one of the cops that got blown up close after. I, what's his name? I forgot, man. I'm, I'm, I'll have to edit that in. Yeah, edit my that. bad. 
We'll find him. We're just dubbing Naaman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Johnson. Officer Johnson. <laughs> that, uh, that was crazy. I remember when Big Poppy was like, this is our fucking yeah. city. I was like, that was a pretty cool moment in sports. Oh, it was yeah. Like, it kind of reminded me when Piazza after 9-11 hit that home run against the Yeah. Day. I was like, that was- Did they win? They won that They won Ooh. that one game. In the Mets fashion, they won a regular season game. <laughs> that was that was all. Yeah. <laughs> that was all they could give this. <laughs> after my, Would you eat there, Bob? Uh, Chipotle. <laughs> um, after uh, Katrina, the Saints won the Super Bowl, and that we needed cool. that. That was big. That was cool. Simmons. 2010? Yeah. S- Officer Simmons. Simmons, there you go. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a crazy time, man. They caught those okay. dudes on a houseboat. One of them, yeah, they got them both. That's good right? color yeah, on that right there. You see that? Yeah, that. guess who took that picture right here? There he it's is. It's a good eyebrow. <laughs> yeah. You look very tan. I know. I don't know. You look like you just spent two weeks in the Bahamas. I, it's makeup. Mm. I was pale as a ghost. <laughs> It's so, <laughs> my beard is nicely yeah clean. That beard go I, that's all my my agent's boyfriend dan perry shout out dan he's the best he, he did my my hair and and everything the grooming and all that stuff he he's it's hilarious he cuts like he's like oh i just cut marcus stroman's hair I'm like, <laughs> oh shit like he, he's like the private barber to all these like athletes. really yeah he's got a cool life he, yeah. ca- he kept I mean, you gotta have your barber dude i got yeah. i got a new york barber i, yeah. I, I just got a fresh Fresh cut. Woo! Let me see. Oh, you look good. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, they got great go. bubs, but what a hat on. We call it oh. the Charlottesville. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it looks yeah, good. That's, High and tight, baby. That's a good look. I got to cut out my grays, bro. You don't Oh, keep the gray. I'm gray as fuck. Gray's good. Oh, yeah. We're all going gray. Who cares? Women like Distinguished. gray. Distinguished. Whether it be a silver fox, doggy. Yeah, Clooney's still killing it. Jeez. Have you yeah. seen them all? He's the oh. coolest human ever. <laughs> He's yeah. a cool dude. He just gives millions of dollars away for Christmas or something. Does he have the suitcases? Yeah. Sells How would you, by the way, he gave away the suitcases to like of a million to like his 14 closest friends. Yes. How would you like to be like friend <laughs> Uh, I was like, I'm like, I always text him happy birthday. <laughs> we grew up together. I was a good guy. That's I mean, honestly, point. if I got that, I'd be, I'd be like, this is a fucking hassle. How are we gonna launder this? Are we gonna report this? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, true. Are you report this money? What are you just? This is what you pay cleaners and this that. Right. Or, we're trying to get that Casamigos money with our bodega yeah. cat. Yeah, bodega we're to, cat. We're trying to fucking rock. Look, look yeah. up Clooney cat litter. He had what? a great joke, okay. but but you got a good look because you you can go ethnic. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, you could go Italian. You could go. Uh, people do confuse me. They claim me. I'll get people be like, you, you, I get Italian a lot. Yeah. I mean, which you look just, like which a just means, Yeah. It just means like cool Jew, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I can Jew. see Italian a little. Con- man, maybe. Confident Jew. Yeah. Italian. You look like Turturro, like a hotter Turturro. <laughs> I'll take <laughs> I go oh, great. I got a Turturro wreck. Have you never seen the movie Quiz Show? Oh, yeah. Great That's movie. a fucking all timer, yeah, man. Yeah. That's picture quiz show it's a fucking good great 90s movie. flick that, that Re- check it out. redford directed it it's awesome dude it's a, it's a ray finds yeah it's yes a good, good flick into turo it's like a rigged I, I game show it's killer one best picture Am yeah I it's killer okay. i think you're right yeah oh like running man oh. running man's a good flick too wow. <laughs> dude very different I, you the don't dude, like that movie? I live next I like to it, that dude but... the dude who produced it this guy it's pretty crazy he walks up my street he's just he just walks up and down and he told me, yeah, I produced Running Man, man. Wait, wait, the Schwarzenegger movie? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a fun one. That's old. It is so fun. Remember the dude with yeah. the Christmas lights? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's fucking... It's and a, they had all the wrestlers. Jesse Ventura was in there. Right. I used to love those movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, the Schwarzenegger's a fucking man. What year was it? You know, have you ever met Schwarzenegger? I have. You met what? him? I have. How was that? He said that had nice calves. Hey! Really? Hey! Yeah, I think he said so. I, I don't know. I was a little in shock. I was rehabbing uh, my ACL. And I was out here, and I was out in LA, and I went to this facility that he goes to, um, and we introduced each other, and he goes, "Nice calves." <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and I, you know, yeah, it was, it was cool. I love that. Damn. Who's a, who's like a random like legend who who was who's a fan, who like hit you up? Who's like that was like a big one. No one's like hit me up, but when you could always, I don't know, like you, I met Casey Affleck. And Affleck. he was pretty cool. That's that's Boston royalty. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a good actor. You could just tell he knew he he watched the games and so you could you could always tell who's watching. I remember when we had Wahlberg Shawn Michaels pretty on, cool. Wahlberg's big. Wal, you know, yeah. But when, when we had Shawn Michaels on our show, he was like gushing over. Julian. Really. And he was saying Julian should join the WWE. Whoa, sexy man alive, <laughs> Shawn Michaels. You just a boy to. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever do that wrestling? I. So when I went to, I did a documentary in Mexico City for uh, the NFL, 
and uh, to promote the the Mexico City game. And it was me and Amendola, and we went and tra- trained with some uh, Nacho Libre guys or some what are they? Reso Libre? What are they? Called? Oh yeah, Uchidores. We went to a place, a w- actual city. I, there, there's, I don't know if there's something in there. I went to that same wrestling show. Who's that? Midgets and everything. This is a guy that produced Running Man. Is no, this guy running different too? guy. Because this is Starsky from Starsky and Hutch, and he oh, produced wow. Running Man. Oh, no, wow. Different guy. But I don't want to put him up there because I don't want to show people where he lives. Oh, or okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but where was I? With Luchadores. Luchadores. So we went and trained with him for a day, and we did like we were learning this move where we'd go off the 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 ring and like you jump up. And you grab the guy by his neck and you swing him down. Oh yeah, we were able, we were able to pick it up in a day. Nice. I could pick. I bet you could, but it, could do dude, it. Dude, that shit was hurting. That, that's that's sure. like that hurts. Oh, it's like, like acrobatics. Impact. Like I'm like, no way, dude. I'm fucking be hurt. Oh, dude, was, you could blow a peck or something so easy in that. Yeah. I was watching the Money in the Bank wrestling thing the other day. Just like threw it on, and it's six women doing a ladder match, and the shit they were doing to each other. I was like, I've never seen this in any ladder match where they're just like throwing their bodies onto the ladder. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, that's yeah. fucking, that hurts. That, that hurts. That, I, I mean, yeah. it, it, there it is. Yes. We were in training. Oh, wow. My God. What the see, fuck? See, we, we did that back thing right there. Like, you <laughs> see where he's getting his neck? What the right fuck there. is he doing? Oh, my. How soft is that mat? Is it is it soft it, at all? Does I mean, it it's, it's it breaks a little, but like not when you're going like <laughs> seven feet in the air. Yeah. It's still right. seven feet in the air with your weight, your mass. Wow. Damn. Yeah, I saw this live with the wife. We went down there, got some beer. McAfee. The midgets, it was great. McAfee's done. He's doing WrestleMania stuff. I thought stuff. he did well when he did Yeah. It. You know who's fucking great at it is... Gronk Logan. does it too. I think Gronk's done a couple bits. Did I tell you I did a, a corporate gig with Gronk? Yes, you did. <laughs> you text. How was he? A German man kissed us both on the mouth. <laughs> really? Yeah. He was like, it was, Gronk was there to like party with them and I was there to do stand up. And uh, Gronk had the easier job. Like, hey, <laughs> he just had to drink people? with them. I had to fucking. They were not. They were not a good crowd. Yeah, it was like 25 minutes of me proving I'm not a fucking chump, uh, and people yelling out like "You suck!" and I'm like, I couldn't oh. get it. They were just screaming shit. Really? They, were, they were animals. And by like minute 25, I had them, and then I was like, I'll give them five minutes of hard jokes. I got got a few big pops, and I was like, I'm out. Yeah, this is yeah. Tough. The guy who ran it was the nicest guy, but it was the most. It was just the weirdest gig. Where he's like, "Come party with us." I'm like, "I just bombed." Yeah, this is that's the crowd. I know. I don't want to hang out. with I don't want to run into the you suck guy. Right, oh. <laughs> right. Good point. Gronk's, but he was. But it's it gotta be tough. Yeah, no. Gronk was. He was cool as fuck. I told. I told him we're buddies. And uh, what is, yeah, look at him. Six four. No, he's six six. Woo. Two seventy, bro. He's tall. Fun guy. Oh, he's he's awesome. Yeah, they're like you, he's one of your best buddies. Yeah, right? Gronk is. He gets like this whole party rap, but he's actually like just a he's a really health conscientious dude. Mm-hmm. Like he's very calculated and all that. Like he he puts down on paper like not on paper like verbatim, but like he'll like plan out what he wants to do. This like he's very responsible. <laughs> <laughs> very responsible. <laughs> oh shit! Whoa! That's badass. Damn. Lucha Libre. Oh, hey, so good. Damn. Hey, look Wrestling's at that. Wrestling's fucking... Wrestling is really fun. That's his boy, uh, Mojo. Did you see Brunson? I know him. Did you huh? see Brunson at wrestling the other night? Was no. he there? Dude, you got to pull up this clip of Brunson um, and Halliburton. I got to go. Have you been in a we while? Got, we got to go to a match. Let's he didn't go in been. the ring, though. Bro. Where's the next mess? He did. He went in the ring. ring. He went yeah. in the ring? Yeah. What? It's an indie or something, isn't it? Oh, uh, there's Logan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Halliburton. Oh, that hurt. Out of the playoffs. That's there was a great stare down before, but uh, yeah, here he comes. Wow, he can take a beating, Brunson. Oh, he's a fucking badass. I mean, this is. Is that you on the left? <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> this guy. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, hey, he's got a chair. He's got a chair. Do this. What shirt is he wearing? There's no turning back. The worry was that he hurt his hand, but he said Jaylen he's okay. Brunson with a so that's the handiest chair. surgery on. Oh no! Yeah. But he said he's. <laughs> I think I like Broadway too, but yeah, I, wrestling's fucking great. It's fucking. It's. I've fun, never man. been. I've never seen it live, except I, for the Mexican. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I haven't really. I, I, my dad took me when I was real young. I don't remember though. Who was your? Who was like your wrestler growing up? Stone Cold. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he's fucking get two cokes. 
spoil myself when he'd win. <laughs> Go to my buddy's house who had an illegal box to watch the pay per view. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I used to. Love, I like The Rock a little bit. I like Sting. I like Degeneration X. Like X Pac. Oh, dude, the the suck it. I got suspended oh, yeah. from school for doing the suck it. Who did? That was yeah, a yeah. movement. It was. It wasn't movement. even me. It was, or it was. The teacher didn't see me. A lady walking by the the school. Waved down Mr. Callis, R.I.P. my guy, told him, got fully suspended. Uh, I mean, what? what? What are we doing? What a Karen coming out what? of the, the bushes. The to get originator a kid of Karen. Yes. Full Karen. <laughs> She'll die alone. Literally. Yeah. Had to, God, that was bad. You're a kid at school. That's what you do. Oh, I, I, I saw Well, you know when your kid. teacher would like, or in the yard duty, we had like time where you had to sit and eat, and yeah. in the yard duty would walk back and forth it's like the guard you know he wasn't looking we're like suck it yeah <laughs> remember Every mr kid, remember dude. mr sako you put the sock on the yes i saw mankind kid. i got thrown out of class i remember you telling me that story oh, yeah, like, yeah. what does that mean you put a sock in your hand you stick it down their throat yeah. oh shit yeah you get, you get in trouble for that one that was that was <laughs> mick Foley. he was the i met him once he's cool as fuck that's aggravated assault it is pretty much <laughs> oh wow i never did the sock move mankind he was a fucking man, dude. Yeah. Oh, remember I, the I, tack match or something? Oh my god, that guy took fucking. He took a beating. Crowbar. He, oh Jesus. The mandible claw. You know how hard? Like for real, f getting fish hooked or having Ooh. shit in your mouth like that—that that hurts. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what Vince McMahon got in trouble for. For real. <laughs> <laughs> man. What that guy like can't? It's so weird to build that and you just can't show up anymore. I know. That's sad. He built it, but he's like, hey, you just can't poop on employees. Were, I guess not. I, Is that what happened? Yeah, he was shitting on women's chests. <laughs> like, I like you just said it, it. You said it with such a straight face. <laughs> wow. You said it like it, you were reading off a court document <laughs> or something. <laughs> Dana White, you hear that? Don't shit on anyone's chest. We like the UFC. Oh, here it is, Don't Mark. Fuck it up. Here it is. They the merged sock. with the uh, WWE. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, shit. You got the sock and the rock. Oh, there's what, DJ um, Khaled. <laughs> Do you have any uh, Rex, Julian? Any right. recommendations? I got some peeves. If you, if you or peeves, either one. My recommendation Reebok. is to watch You Changed oh! <laughs> on Amazon. Good you, one. Man. Good one. The Sam Morell. Good one. Special. Number two. Had one at a different place, but we want to be this Number Amazon. six, but... Hey, look There's at two that. Big ones. Two, two big ones. Full yeah. Heil. Yeah. Uh, you're like you're the show took a weird turn here. <laughs> <laughs> I was waving. <laughs> where was that at? That's at the Wilbur. Yeah, Bean Town. The Wilbur is that where beautiful. we're? Oh That's shit! The Wilbur's one. Of I've the, been there. I've seen a concert there. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Oh, you're gonna it. kill it. It's a great room for comedy and anything. Yeah, man. All it's right, gonna be like a talent show. <laughs> I'm gonna get up there and like sing and dance. <laughs> It'd be like one of those old like 1950s like shows. You could do it. Dee, 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 dee. That's like better than I thought he would be, though. <laughs> you can kind of dance. I mean, you have a receiver in the National Football League. Yeah. You got to have some footwork. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can cut a rug or two. <laughs> to me, the hardest part about the NFL, I mean, obviously the, the gridiron. But what about the locker room? Those swinging dongs everywhere? Yeah. I mean, it's like uh, you're swinging on vines just to get to the shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Tarzan in there. <laughs> it's all dick. You don't want to be a National Geographic bird watcher. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. No bird watching. Got to be bugs. respectful. No bird watching. Just yeah. uh, no bird watching. Yeah. Blinders on. But they're <laughs> yeah. swinging. They must be. There's some guys. I mean, this, this is the most elite men in the world. Yes, know? exactly. So it's, 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 it's a large group. Yeah. yeah. You Ray can't Lewis. help but admire by accident sometimes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> The yeah, talent. I'm, I'm straight, but look, that's fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. There's been a few. It's past yeah. the knee. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There was a scene in any given Sunday where they had a black guy with just an enormous dick. Really? And they just kept it in. It was Pulling just like a up. weird scene where Cameron Diaz just talking to a guy with just a giant hog. Wow. And I was like, with the, what director was like, we got to make this, <laughs> this real. Let's audition some giant cocks for this yeah. movie. And they, that was kind of a good movie, though. Oh, it was fun as hell. Al Pacino, Jamie Foxx. They threw up that Pacino speech during one of the Knicks playoff games. Of course, they cut out the, the best parts where he's cursing, but... That can't be it. Oh, I've pictured better than that. Yeah, maybe it wasn't great. But with her shaking the hand, I'm, this is kind of hot. <laughs> the background looks like... Uh, maybe it was the whole pick. No, the Jack, behind, too. Maybe I was right. picturing the whole Isn't thing. Isn't that like Davis? <laughs> ah! 
that Chris Penn? Who is, that, that is that Schrager? Who the hell was that? It looks like Davis from uh, the owner of the Raiders. Um, oh. Al Davis. Oh. Not Al. Oh, it's son. son, what's his? Um, huh? Mark. It looks like Mark Davis. Hmm. No way. Who's this? Oh, yeah. oh, Karen Diaz was hot back in the 90s, huh? I'd st- you'd still hit it. Oh, sure. I'd hit her, her dad. But, uh, yeah, she was something. She used to sell weed to Snoop Dogg at Hollywood High. Really? Yeah, yeah fun fact. Heard about that. Hollywood High was a big uh, hot spot. I mean, she had a fucking Wasn't that Long Beach? Beach? Was that Long Beach? I thought I thought what? Hollywood High was right on Sunset. I don't know if it was. I think they both. I think it was Long Beach. Oh, maybe. You're, you're probably LBC. right. LBC is kind of high being Snoop in it. You're right. Mm. LB. Let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah. All right, yeah, here's a peeve. Yeah, hit us. First of all, I got two. One, I'm sick oh. of QR codes. Can we get done with the QR code with the menu? I know it's a little little I'm basic, but no, give totally me a paper menu. You. Give me I, something I, to hold. I'm offended by it. I know I, enough shit on my. And by the way, the worst thing is when you, you you click it and you're like, "Fuck, my last window was a porn thing." You're just like, like load, load. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then sometimes your friend can't get it to work, so you got to give him your phone. Now I don't have a phone. I mm-hmm. hate it. The worst is when there's no internet. Or reception, and you got to use the menu to get on. Like, how am I watching? Right. I, there's, I've had like four or five incidences where I'm like, how, how do I? How am I oh. supposed to look? Yeah, I, I don't have reception. Exactly, and there's no Wi-Fi. I got, I got a peeve to go off your peeve. The Please. dark restaurants where everyone's taking out their fucking oh, cell phone flashlight oh, the light. to read the menu. I'm like, what are we, fucking 80 and living in Boca? <laughs> you feel like Biden over yeah. there. You're like, oh. I want to put on Junior Soprano glasses, too. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> I've had to do it a couple times. Yeah. It's, it's, it's annoying. We don't need to be that dark. I'm with my parents. I'm not trying to fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. I was yeah. doing oral with the lady. The power went out. I had the, the light down there. It was brutal. <laughs> I felt like a miner. <laughs> and you yelled, echo. <laughs> You yeah, was a minor. <laughs> yeah. I had to put a canary in there. <laughs> Good thing she wasn't a minor. I got a pet peeve. All right. My pet peeve is when you have communal food. Mm. You order food. I, you know, I, I won't call any names, but there's specific people in my, my group. You order food, and like when you are about to serve or you, you put all the food out to start going through it. Like I, I, I want people to wash their hands because uh, there's bread. Oh yeah. And if we, maybe we both touch bread, it, mm. it's going to happen. We right. should all wash hands. Right. And I hate when people are, are like going in and double dipping or like using like communal. Wow. Like, you know what I mean? Good to know. I'm pet peeve with that. I didn't okay. know that about you. I'll, I'll yeah. be better. Washing hands before I eat communal food. Like I'll, I'll go on, a, I'll go out on. I'll just go out and show everyone, like, hey, I'm washing my hands. Whoa! I didn't Wash. take you as a germaphobe. I didn't know that. I'm not a germaphobe. Just with eating sometimes. Interesting. We've shared food. You turned me on to my favorite pizza place in New York. Probably I'd never been to Arturo's before. I love Arturo's. I didn't never been there before you. My 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 Lisa is there, right? That lady, she hooks it up. I just love the vibe too. Vibe, good vibe. It's great like, pizza. You get live music. Pasta's I, took, good. I took my friend Mateo Lane there, comedian. Yeah. He gets, uh, they let us in the kitchen to make a pizza and yeah. then Mateo gets on the, cause he wanted to shoot a thing for his YouTube. He gets on the fucking piano. The guy's playing piano. He sings fly me to the moon for the whole Whoa! restaurant and he's getting applause. Yeah. It was incredible. That's amazing. That's like, that's such a fun New York night. Yeah. That's a New York night. Like I that I missed that. when I, when I lived here for a little bit, I, li- I didn't leave here long. I miss you living here, dude. Yeah. But like you go into a random spot, you get some live music, someone pops in like that. Like that the, shit happens. The yeah. best. So cool. And it's Man. great food. I miss yeah. the food. I've you, never been we're going to Fort like Charles this week. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's one of my favorites. Oh, you, it's so yeah. fucking hard. It's it's like so hard to get a reservation. For you? For everyone. I remember winning Super Bowl MVP once. Like, when I, 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 I once. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Black. Story <laughs> uh, And I tried to get a res, like, immediately after got shot down. In Boston? Go, no, here. Oh, it's well, that's York. why. Yeah. Are you <laughs> throwing that out there? Hey, yeah. Super Bowl MVP. No. I, those, those, by the way, those those Super Bowl MVP Boston credits don't transfer to they New York. Don't. Those, don't. In Boston, you get it whatever you no. want. But in New York, we're like, but it yeah, was we. Fresh Super Bowl. Like, yeah. Right off the, it was right. I was what, literally. What's doing the restaurant? Something. Do you remember? Fort Charles. Damn. What's Fort Charles? It's a fucking it's like a, really good they burger. They got like a, primary it's a spot. crazy burger, crazy they got good little, They got good drinks, too. It's just like, I like it. It's a cool spot. Great handheld food. Yeah. All right. French dip is phenomenal. The burger, they serve it with white gloves. Ooh-wee. And like, I went in the, because I went on to a radio show and someone called in and so they got me a reservation. 
like, or something, right? Didn't we get it through that? <laughs> I was like, anyone got a reservation out there? I'm trying to get to Fort Charles. And, and I went in with the most hateful, spiteful fucking mind, and it exceeded all my expectations. Wow. I it's couldn't good. even hate. I brought my buddy Gary Veter there, and he was, I mean, that's why we went. It was like a big tour thing. He was like, I want Fort Charles. He's yeah. showing me all the, we'd be on the road. He'd be showing me the pictures of them soaking the egg yolk all over the burger, yeah. like a cum shot. And I'm Love like, it. all right. Love it. We got to go. Now, there's other great burgers, but now, you know. It was cool. It was, it's, a, it's a fun, I don't know. I liked it. So I'm, yeah. I'm going to go check that out. I got a couple of spots I got I to gotta turn. Raul's got a good burger, too. That's heard, a good I, burger. I heard that. that. Like, uh, it's, that, it's the flakiness of the burger. Bun, which mm. it's a French, it's a steak and frites spot, and you can only eat the burger at the the bar. Right, they have a certain number. It's like a fucking hassle. It's crazy, but it's, it's worth it. And they have a peppercorn sauce, but like their bread, and they have like a arugula, like something on there. And I don't like those kind of foo foo y type burgers, but this thing knocked my socks off. And it's like they have a crusty, they have a real crusty like uh, bread. Mm. So it's almost like a croissant because it's like a French spot. I don't know if it's Ooh. that or if, am I just imagining? No, that's that. on like you all the. It? Has anyone had it? That those pop up on my Instagram all day, and Raul's is always yeah, Raul's is spectacular. Good. It's like a, a dip one though. You dip it's. You know, uh, I like yeah. other burgers, but I don't like that usually. But it, it's fucking. We got to go to Mineta sometime. Oh, that's Mineta, a good we, burger. We, we had Mineta, didn't we? Maybe. Corner Bistro is good. Corner Bistro is just I like yeah. Seventh Street Diner. It's old. That was like a Bourdain spot. Yeah. It's got yeah. I got really fucked up at. Uh, that's a good looking burger, huh? I got really yeah. fucked up at, at uh Corner Bistro one night, Julian. It's and the bartender and I hit it off. He was a great guy. And uh he goes, We got we got a comedian here the other night. And uh I was like, Oh yeah, he's like, Yeah, like a big comedian. I was like, Oh yeah, who he goes, some guy named uh, Mark Norman. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well Time. I go there a lot. I live in the area. It's a great spot. Where where is Fort Charles? I want to try to get in. Oh, Fort Charles. Where? It's Four Charles. Oh, it's Four Charles. I thought you said Fort. No, I see. Four. Oh, Charles Street. All right, that's yeah. in my hood. It's a pri prime rib. I love prime rib. Woo, baby. That is snazzy. Look at that place. Jeez. I mean, I can't. They got an old school Sunday that'll knock your socks off, too. I oh, think we had that. It was baby. good. The fucking oh. the, dude, everything is fucking good. Look at that. It's good. And they got good drinks. Good I'm drinks. in. Yeah. It's, it's, but it's fucking so hard to get into. It's like crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the bank. Was it the Bank Street Inn? Oh, what? Well, Waverly no. Inn? No, that place What's closed. that place on Banks? No, I think it's still cooking. Okay. But whatever. Beatrice All right. Inn? Huh? You talking about the Beatrice Inn? No. Beatrice. Bank Street Bar, Banks. It's on Banks or Waverly. I don't know. But what, I'm, what's I'm, the, what's a good food. LA spot? What's your like, go to LA spot? There's a few. I like Burger That's She it. Wrote. Burger it's shirt. like a big smash like burger name. spot right now. It's like everyone's doing smash. They got For the Winds pretty good. Mm. Burgers Never Say Dies. Damn. They're all kind of like similar, but they're good. Your everyone's burger. doing like the potato bun. Mm. I've been making my own burgs. Good. I, I, got a, I got a Blackstone and I go get my own chuck. Like I usually go get like, I'll mix a chuck and like a Kobe. And so it's the fat content's good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Got a couple different style burgs. I got the Frank Berg. I got the. Regular McDonald's burger. You go egg or no egg? No egg. That's All right. But you got to go egg at this place. Nah, I don't. I'm Are not you an egg serious? guy. Not an egg guy on my burger. It's mm. an amateur thing. Damn. I Look at that bacon like in there. Thick cut I, bacon. Do you go bacon thick. on the I'm burger? Not a, I'm not a bacon guy either. I'm not a bacon guy either. This I like it. Now, if I'm going to go bacon, it has to be not on this style burger because this sauce is different. I like bacon on a barbecue sauce cheddar, <laughs> cheddar uh, cheese burger. Mm. There's like and with like a red onion. What about Damn. Boston? All right, give me best lobster roll in Boston. I liked Yankees. I used to go to Yankees. There's this little spot over there by um, what's that? What's that? Uh, what's the the concert venue there by it's the seaport. seaport? It's over in the seaport. It's it's been there forever before all this. I recognize stuff. this place. Oh, there you go. Yeah, very. I always liked theirs. Okay, we had row thirty four a couple of times. That was killer. they're very row thirty four is really good. And they, I, were, and they were nice as fuck, too. Yeah. Very solid. They gave the whole crew uh, little beanies. Legal seafood, you know. Classic. Classic. There's, Classic. But there's three levels to the legals. If oh, you go to the really? seaport, yeah, there's like the, the test kitchen. There's like the, there's like a like a regular level, then there's like a high dining level, and then there's like a bar sushi level or something. Yeah. You know, so there's like three levels to it. So which level do you want? It's like right. four. <laughs> what, there's another one that's really good in Boston, though, right? Like, What's another good... What's the um? What's the uh, place in the North End? The Oyster House. Um, 
I heard that one's killer. Yeah, Oyster House. That's one Vito was talking. That's like mm. the sea, sea. There's a bunch of good seafood. The Union Oyster. No, not the Union Ooh, Oyster that, House. That's like a, a what's the one trap. that everyone goes to in North End? Is that it? I it's that like up it. in the Cuddy off Salem. I don't know. Everyone talks about it. It's. I forgot the name. Mm, there's I'll, a chowder place around there too. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. I got a hot take, and I, I lived in Boston for 12 years. <laughs> But I like the I like the San Francisco chowder better. Oh, what? Yeah. Do Boston people know this about you? It's it's very similar. Yeah. It's like a cream base. It's not like a New York. I like the New York. I like the Manhattan. Yeah, like the the water tomato base. Yes. Basically. Like it's a cream base. But the only reason I like it better is because you get them in the sourdough bread bowl, bro. Yeah, and the true. sourdough oh, out there is fucking insane. Oh yeah. No, like yeah. that's my that's the best part of of soup remember like, right. i mean you know what i mean is the bread soda mori in uh in sf i remember we were young comics one night and amy schumer rented out the whole place oh yeah and we were like just like shuffling food into our face all night we we're like food game in sf's really good yes i haven't been in a long time but i love it but just like like that that is that is Come insane. stupid also the other one there that what's the other boat in no the one that it's like just the bar but in uh san francisco swan oyster depot Oh, Bourdain went there. That was a Bourdain. I've never been that one. Oh my god! It's, the owner just looks like fucking Bay Area Colin Quinn. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. It's an awesome. It, and it's that guy. That's ah. the guy. That looks amazing. Oh, it's it's epic. And uh, you went? Yeah, I've been oh, a couple times. But really? But the line's fucking brutal. Yeah, well, it's just a bar. But it's yeah. You go in there, you get a beer, you get some crab back. Woo! <laughs> you get some. Uh, some shrimp cocktail. It's fucking crazy good. Mm. I'm in. Good. I mean, SF is is awesome. I know. Uh, I, hope I haven't it, been there in a minute, but yeah, me neither. I hope it stays strong. I, I miss walking probably. around that city. Great Chinese food in SF. Great too. Chinese mm-hmm. food. Yeah. Great. Chinese no, I miss. Food. I miss. That's gone. my favorite. My favorite Chinese food. Like, I couldn't find good Chinese until other than the Bay Area until I came to New York. All right. I don't love. Like, I heard you. Didn't you say something that you like chi- uh, the L.A. Chinese? I love LA Chinese. I don't think it's that great. Really? Mm. Yeah. I think there's some pretty, I think, I don't love it, but there's some good spots there for sure. New York is like slipping a little bit in Chinese. I feel like we used to have great Chinese and it kind of like, now I feel like Thai kind of overtook the Chinese. Is that crazy? I agree. agree? Well, the shops closed. Chinatown used to be bumping it. Like, you go there at two in the morning, you get anything you want. COVID, no more. COVID fucked you up. You're a Chinese New York connoisseur. I mean, how do you feel about that? It completely changed. It used to be like this American style Chinese. Now, any place you go, it's Sichuan. It's like over spicy. I like it a lot too, but it changed from what my childhood Uh was. But But I'll adapt. I like Shanghai. Did, did it go, change go or did, did you change? Oh, oh they're amazing. Soup dumplings? Yeah. I haven't been there in a long time. And there's yeah. on base. Yeah. Or Baxter? Yeah. I used to order from there and then... What was the other place? Wohop. 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 There's Pips. Namwa. Namwa's got some... I like dumplings. Love a dumpling. Love a yeah. pot sticker dumpling, whatever you... A gyoza. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. like pan fried. I like making them. You know, you get the frozen ones, even though they're frozen, but you can fucking doll those babies up. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I love Wouldn't to doll nice them up. Crunchy with a little water in there. Oh, yeah. What's oh. dim sum? Is that where you pick as you go? It's like all dumplings. I, I, yeah. A bunch of them. Oh, uh, Yang Sing in SF is a fucking spot for dim sum. <sighs> Yang That's Sing. a good one. Yeah. I used to go it's to also the- also the name of the massage parlor there. They yank you, you sing. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a great- Yang Sing is great. It's, I've uh, never been. Oh, it's fucking! I legit. haven't been to San Francisco Chinese in a long time. I used to I used to go to this place called uh, Flower Drum or Su Hong in like Redwood City, Menlo Park, Palo Alto, yeah, San Carlos area. Yeah. Fire, mm. Su All Hong. Right. All right, last peeve. We we got it. We got a we got a lot out of that QR code thing. <laughs> Hold on. Wow. All right. How about this one? Coffee shops that close early. Oh, what is that? I What's feel early? this. You know, like, you, like I'll stay in a hotel, and they're like, we have a Starbucks in the lobby. And you're like, oh, great, I got a Starbucks in the lobby. Then you go down there at 1, they're like, oh, we wrap up at 10. You're like... I'll, I'll go you further. I need a coffee They're closed by 5, I'm fucking annoyed. Yeah, like, I, I, need- I want a coffee, but I don't want a coffee. But they think, oh, it's the morning time. I'm, a, I'm an afternoon coffee guy. I like, I like, I, I, I drink Same. a lot of coffee. You you drink a ton of coffee. I do, I, I make my own. Oh, uh, okay. Well, what if you're out yeah, in the I live boat? in L.A. It's like everything's oh, yeah. fucking... You, I'm not getting in the car. It's 30 minutes. Dog. But this right. is the road comic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but even... I make my own, too, I, but with someone when you're on the road and you're like... 
uh, I'm with you. Like if it's, I need somebody to go to these small towns and they just don't. Yeah, they're like we close up shop early. And I'm yeah, like, I just need caffeine. I, I don't want to have. A, I fucking hate energy drinks. I hate monster. Ugh, yeah, no, thank you. I got hooked on them for a sec. With like that Celsius thing. Celsius. It tasted good as fuck it's bad at first, news, but I heard they're like terrible for you. So I, like, I went back to of coffee. They are. They Horrible. taste great, yeah. and they're like it helps your metabolism. Like something's off. Yeah. Yeah. Something is off. Yeah. Come on. Like, cut it out. Too good to be true. But they. uh yeah, no, I, I had Monster sponsored one of my tours, so I had to pretend to like it for a while. So, like, it would be on I do stage. like Monster, though. Yeah. Really? Oh, there you go. Yeah, or you got, Red Bull. If you guys want to pay me again, I totally like uh, Monster. Yeah, I love Amp. <laughs> amp that was like i would literally just trash. say it i would like i would just like people knew it was the sponsor so i would like hold it up and be like i love monster and would get a huge laugh like they knew it was like a gag <laughs> i just had to have it up for the, uh, the back closer ufc fighters do that they got like one eye swollen their lips busting they're holding up the can you know, <laughs> i get that paycheck <laughs> no, i hate that shirt shit. and stuff yeah yeah you got to do it everyone puts on a shirt after the victory yeah, that's what I think comedians don't get. Race car drivers, they got Tide, they got Windex, they got uh, peanut butter, whatever on their car. We should just wear shit. Yeah, this dick joke is brought to you by Tide. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when your socks are crunchy, Tide will get them out. <laughs> Mark's in his new special. He's rocking a Mercedes shirt. I'm like, Jesus, you've changed, man. <laughs> Exxon Mobil pants. What? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, coffee at the thing. Got to get it. Got to have a... a yeah. At the house? You no, uh, late late. Oh, started. yeah. Come on. They close now, up early. Now, what, what's acceptable? Seven o'clock? I'm not in that world. I don't do that. I usually just... Maybe five? Five is acceptable. Five? But in like, New York City, I want a little later than five. Sure. You yeah, can go to a possible. deli for that, though. You that's could. True. You can get any... That's true. Like, that's... Deli coffee's underrated, too. Like, everybody it's like thinks... gas station coffee, kind of. Yeah, gas station coffee's great. I love 7-Eleven's great. I'm not a, I'm not a coffee snob. Like I, if it's, someone gives me like a cool boutique coffee, like I'm, that's great. But like I, I can drink gas station coffee all day. I, I did it Same. for years. I love Same. it. That's what I. Yeah. No fruit. Actually, I've been drinking. I can drink any coffee, but when someone does bring you a good coffee, you're like, man, that's. I guess that's true for sure. It's pretty fun. No, you notice. It, for sure. <laughs> you notice the taste, and if you feel more jacked up too, you're like, ooh, baby. But I, I romanticize a gas station coffee because it like is. I'm like, I'm on the fucking road. Yeah, there's something cool about it, you know. Today was free Slurpee day. Did was you get it? one? I got two. I went to two different Seven Elevens. <laughs> Did you really? What a country! You're rich, dude. You don't want to eat a free 7-Eleven. It's a novelty. Hey, 7 uh, doing free Slurpee Day. And I was bonding with people. I was like, hey, Slurpee, Slurpee. Sounds, like, like, a, sounds like a real deep connection you flipped <laughs> there. What flavor? Well, uh, a lot of them were taken because it was, you know, free. The, you, would you have, like, the yellow one? Yeah. <laughs> what no, you have? New flavor? I got the fentanyl flavor. That's <laughs> yeah. all I had left. He's pissing in the fucking machine. He's like, this is it. <laughs> I got in there at one. There was a softball team in there, a bunch of kids with, you know, with bats and shit. I was like, ah, I'll go to the next one. And. Uh, so I you didn't get two at, at one. I got Coke on one of them and I got Cherry on the other. So did you go to three different spots? I did, yeah. Well, there's one by my house. It's a block away. Got one there. Went to another one. Softball team. Went to another one later. Three spots, two flavors, Coke and Cherry. Cherry. And I I'm tried a the blue raspberry was out. Yeah, That's a fucking good dude. Blue. Why is blue always the best flavor? Like blue, Gatorade blue is my favorite. Oh, uh, yeah. Blue Chew. I, my favorite Gatorade is probably I like either I like the old three flavors that they had. Oh yeah, lemon lime and fruit punch. Yes, fruit, fruit punch was big. Like those. Remember three, lemon ice? That was lemon ice. Any, any of the lemon ones I like. Lemon ice was money because they would do the uh, the contests and it was the only clear flavor. So you could literally just hold the fucking bottle up and be like, "I won." Oh, yeah. interesting. Under the bottle cap, crazy. You guys remember ten K? Nah. You might be too young for that. Oh, that was a sports drink before Gatorade, and then Gatorade put it out. It was like Blockbuster and Netflix. Mm. 10Ks before Gatorade? I think so. Gatorade was like 10K, in the 60s. 10K, there it is. You never did 10K. Maybe that was big in the South. Yeah, never heard of it. Wow. I've never that heard of huge that. when I was- Gatorade was invented like, I think, 60s. Yeah, it's old school. Maybe you're Florida. right. Florida. Florida Gators. Florida. Yeah. Well, they, they usurped 10K. They put them out. That looks Ooh. like it's straight 80s, bubs. That's yeah. straight Sunny D. <laughs> it was sugar water for sure. Well, that's all it is. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. We they should uh, we should wrap up. But Julian, uh, oh. Games with Names podcast, great oh, fucking hey, podcast. I miss doing it with you. It was so fucking fun. It's uh, we miss you, man. We gotta get you back out when you're I, in LA. I'll, yeah, I'll hit you up for sure. Uh, yeah. I'd love to do it again, man. Uh, if you ever shoot the show in New York again, let me know. One hundred percent. We'll rock it out. But uh, 
I mean, dude, you're Ten killing it. The show's getting it's so good. It's been fun. It's been fun, man. And you know, and it's uh it's constantly, you know how it goes when you're building something. You're just you're in the grind of it and like we got a big week coming up, coming forward. We got a bunch of special guests. Can you can you hint to any of them or no? Uh we got I think we got Casey Affleck coming. Oh, on. that's Holy a good shit. Get. We have potentially the GOAT. Tom Brady. He should come on. I, I mean, it, it's it's tough. God, you're you pitched it at the fucking roast. Why do you I have know. to sell yourself? Yeah, you're you know, constantly Super Bowl right MVP guy. here. Come on, Tom. Uh, For fuck's sake. You know, we got him coming. Uh, who else we got? We have... Uh, that's it. All right, all right. We, got, we, got, we have a wrestler coming, too. Oh, look, look, that's uh, another that's, one. That's fucking... Badass. Two two Boston royalty. I mean, beyond Boston royalty, but two two big Academy Award Tampa winner. Tampa Bay, bro. Fucking, yeah. Went to Tampa Bay, dude. <laughs> How do you feel Tampa about Bay, that? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cool. He's fucking... Yeah. I really don't care. Yeah. yeah. It's good for him. It was man. cool to see Belichick at the Rose. Oh, it was fun. That was nice, because it's like, you just want... I'm not even a fucking Patriots fan, but I was like, you just it just felt right for the universe. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Good to have him. It's like a big therapeutic session. Yeah. We're all on the table. Get it all out. Just get it out. Booze and roast. So you just saved the day. But yeah. That was a f- that was a fun that was a fun gig. It was fucking a, you crushed it, man. I was proud of you. It was so cool. But the, there hadn't been that many roasts in a while. Right? No. It was like, you know what I mean? The I feel like we needed it. I don't know, but I feel like we haven't seen a roast. Because I remember watching Jeff Ross roast all the time. Totally. Yeah. They roasted it, Trump. They yeah. roasted Chevy Chase. They roasted <laughs> Bieber. Baldwin. Baldwin. Baldwin, yeah. Yeah. It's Charlie Sheen. Yeah. That was mm-hmm. great. It was fun. Pam Ann. Come to think of it, pe- really bad things happen to people after they got roasted. <laughs> Gee. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully you don't put the I got, Yeah, I got a there. casino in Hammond, Indiana. I'm with Chrissy D and uh, Nemesh for that gig. Tickets are fucking slow in Hammond, guys. Sorry. Uh, it's going to be a fun gig, though. We got Miami. I'm at the Miami Improv August 1st through 3rd, working on new shit. It's not there yet, so I apologize, but it's getting there. Prior Lake, Minnesota, another casino with Chrissy D and Nemesh. Then we got Baltimore, the 15th through the 17th at uh, Magoobies. Stress Factory in Jersey, the 22nd through 24th. And then I'm off to uh, oh uh, Ni- Niagara Falls in September. And then London, Woo! Belfast, Dublin. Europe. Paris, Amsterdam, I had a second show there, so don't make me feel dumb for adding that, please. Copenhagen, Oslo, Stockholm, and and the new special you've changed on uh, Prime Video, Sam Morell, you've changed. Please give it a watch. Give it a watch. It's a killer special. Hey, coming up, Cedar Rapids, Rockford, Illinois, Rochester, Minnesota, Hampton Bay and the Hamptons, Richmond, Virginia, Greensboro, Anaheim, Thousand Oaks, Reading, PA, Red Bank, Colorado Springs, Fort Collins, St. Louis, Missouri, Atlanta, Georgia, Orlando, Florida, Fort Lauderdale, to name a few, MarkNormanComedy.com. Go to Punch Up. Get a goddamn bottle of Bodega Cat. It's available near you. It's all online. It's in Texas, Florida, Kentucky, California, New York City. And, uh, yeah, Julian, thanks for coming on. And Providence. I saw Providence in there. Am I going to Providence? Providence, Rhode Island. Hell, yeah. I love Providence. Great, great town. Great to have you, man. Go to Miss Federal you. Hill. Good good Italian. Very good. A lot of hey, wa- Great Italian. And good you get Italian. some fucking cheap restaurants, too, because some are fucking fronts, if you know what I mean. You so got that right. Give Connected. it a shot. I'm not going to say it. anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening, guys. Get some Bodega Cat at bodegacatwhiskey.com. We're going through cases like crazy now because it's at the fucking comedy cellar and the stand and all the New York comedy clubs. So thank you yeah, so much. Suck it, Clooney. <laughs> We're coming for you. See you soon. Sunday.